Hello folks, how you doing? What we're going to be doing today is something different to scroll sawing. Um, I'm actually waiting for some bits and pieces coming to do my next scroll saw project. So I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I'm going to make a nice chunky planter to put on my pond wall. But what I'm going to do is engrave the lettering Koi Pond on the uh, on the pieces of wood. I'll show you the wood I've got. It's some 6x2 treated uh, CLS timber. So I've had to cut it down into the rough sizes. I'm going to trim it all up on the table saw to the exact sizes of what I need. So the actual front is going to be about 16 inches long. So I'll just set this up there. That's going to be engraved, as you can see, onto the front of that. I'm going to use the Katsu router for doing that. Uh, it's not going to be nothing fancy, just a small basic little planter. I'm going to round the edges over and that'll be it. I'll probably paint in the lettering with some black paint. But uh, stay with me and we'll crack on with it. Told you we'd be back to wearing uh, jackets in the shed again this week. It's absolutely battering it down outside with hailstone at the minute and uh, it's gone quite cold again so huh, you can never trust the weather man. patterns on this is I've just put a piece I've lined it up first where I want the lettering I've put a piece of masking tape on the top of it to hold it in place I've just put some PVA wood glue on smeared it out painted it on I'm just gonna fold this over now and press it down into place get any air bubbles out what's underneath it And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that about an hour to dry. So if you're doing things like this, it's better to do them the day before and let them dry off overnight. And then the paper will stick to the wood proper then. Because if you try and do it too soon after putting the paper on, you more than likely take the pattern off as well. Uh, when you're moving your router around, you'll end up taking the pattern off. Either that or you can draw the pattern on with pencil and then the pattern's not going to come off then. But this is how I like to do mine. Just put some wood glue on, smear it out, and then uh, get all the air bubbles out, like so. Let it dry, and then you can write it at your own leisure then. Right, I've outlined all the letters now. What I'm going to do now is, if I can get it out, I've got a 3mm spiral up cut bit. So I'm going to clean all the lettering out with that now.
And there you go, all rated out, cleaned out. Just gonna get a bit of sandpaper and clean the edges up now. Paint it black and then that'll be the front done. You definitely need one of these if you're doing this sort of stuff. You get absolutely full of it. But there you go. So the next bit now, I'm not going to show you painting them letters because I'm only going to paint them black. Um, and then we're going to put it all together, right the edges off. Jobs are going in. Right, I painted all that now. I'm just going to take the paper off later on. Uh, as you can see on the edge of the board here, I've put a mark. But what I'm going to do, i got an 8mm drill bit and marked an inch up the, tape, up the drill bit with a piece of tape. So I'm going to drill a hole an inch into the piece of wood and I'm going to use some of these uh, decking screws that size with glue and then I'm going to cap the holes off with a piece of dowel. So I've put all my markings on the piece of wood for now I'm going to go around it all, glue it all up and all that's going to be time lapse now. put the box together, I'm going to cut the dowels and put the dowels in and uh, I'm going to give it all a quick sanding down and then right to the edges over I'm not going to film putting the dowels in, it's only cutting an inch piece of dowel and putting them in um, and then we'll go from there
that's the end of this little project now. I can't actually show you it outside on my pond because it's absolutely pouring down and I haven't got any plants at the minute to put in it so what I'm going to do is I'll show you the the finished thing at the minute now, empty and then I'll uh, include some pictures on the community page on Facebook when I filled it with soil and I think I'm going to put some of them uh, succulent plants in because with it being near a pond they don't take much maintenance and uh, they don't drop the leaves so I'm more of risk of contamination going into the water but uh, yeah well I'll do, I'll put some pictures on the community page when I get it filled when this rain eases up uh, I'll also be putting pictures on my Instagram and uh, my Facebook page so my links are down, to, down below if you want to jump on them channels to go and have a look at the pictures then there you go but I'll just show you the finished box at the minute now there you go I think it's a nice little addition putting the dowels in there and then you can't see the screws in there like I say it is pressure treated timber and it's so called will last about 15 years but I think what I'll do is uh, get some of the clear treatment stuff what you can put on it and uh, I'll just give it another coat to that and then it should be good to go but it's not going to be getting much weathering on it anyway because uh, my pond's pretty sheltered where it is but uh, yeah that's what I'll do, I'll, put, I'll take some pictures of it and uh, I'll put them on the community Facebook page and on my Instagram and my Facebook page but uh, yes, quick little project, couple of hours uh, if you didn't have to do the lettering then you could probably bang one out in an hour um, all routed off, sanded down, I think it was, was it 80 or 60 grit uh, 80 and there you go, fire on with the mixer as they say but uh, I think also what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of plastic on the inside of it uh, a little bit of liner or something but it's going to have soil in it, some of them little succulent plants I think they're called and uh, just a bit of little gravel over top of it because they don't need much water anyway so whatever moisture is in the soil will keep them fed but uh, yeah, that's this project. If you like the project, please give me a thumbs up. Sorry it's not another scroll sawing project, but I just wanted a break from it. Um, and like I say, I was waiting for some bits and pieces coming for my next scroll saw project. So that's why I've kept you uh, occupied with this video. And I've been wanting to do it for a, for a while, so now the weather was cold getting a little bit better. I decided to do it but yeah if you like the video smash that like button uh, subscribe and share the videos and uh, all the links are down, down below in the description and we'll see you again next week hopefully